Right, a quick look at the Hayes Surveyor Envoy fire panel. Um, yeah, there's the keypad there. All the zones. This is a three zone, so that does nothing. There's nothing behind there. Um, I've got it's the, the key which is a new one because the old one broke. Um, let's activate it with the key that it, key that I've got for it. Let's sound the alarms. And let's silence them, because that's annoying. Um, it's connected to nothing at the moment, it only has power. Um, let's reset that. It does an LED test too. Um, let's go inside it and have a look inside. Two zone cards on the right there. Two zone cards and a main panel board there. And a Comlet transformer. Some random crap in the corner there. And spare key for it and the old key switch that doesn't work anymore. It was tried. Uh, the old the old people were trying to fix it before. That might have even been my place. I don't know. Um, but I'm not the seller, so I don't know. Um, yeah, it's quite a few features, I suppose. I quite like this because you can change it from normal. Let's hold the camera still. You can change it from normal when my camera wants to focus. Which it doesn't want to. There we go. You can change it from well, the first switch is non latch zone one. Um, second one is short circuit equals fire. So if you're short, it just goes into fire state. Three is detector removal zone, I think. Um, I'm not exactly clear on these, so if you want to know what it, what they actually mean, there's, a, there's data sheets everywhere. Auxiliary zone one only. The relay activates for zone one only. Twin wire sounder one is the interesting one. So if five is on, which it currently is, um, it's it's in twin wire mode now. So you can use twin wires basically where you have everything on one on two cores of wire plus earth. So it's call points, sounders, and um, detectors. And yeah, it's much obviously saves wire and the rest are the ones. And uh, these these have similar things. Latch, short circuit fire, detector remove, sound about the relay activating, only for that um, thing. So if zone 2 goes off, which is the middle board, only that relay will activate. Um, and twin is obviously twin wire. Yeah, I don't know why I stopped there. One annoying thing I have to say about these panels is these fuses. They're little fuses. Um, that's the that's the brand. That is not not the fact that they are so small, and they cost like I think a pound or two pound each um, as their specialist components. You don't you know they're not the normal glass fuses that you get with most most normal things. Um, so that's one annoying thing I have to say about it. Oh. Um, yeah, you can see there's the header there if you wanted to put another zone in. There's the two batteries in here. And some crap there, and a sticker. Um, the buzzer's broken, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Still works as it is. Um, right, I'm going to wire it up and do a little test. There's some information about the circuit board. I'm also going to have a tripod because I'm pretty sure it's giving everyone a headache um, watching it spin around with time. Right, that took longer than expected, but. Um, I've wired it up with a cycle call point and a Ascari panel sounder. Um, and it obviously works, because I've tested it and it went off about three times. Which is quite annoying, but um, yeah, the call point is on zone 2 and the sounder is on zone 3. Um, yeah, there's a, few out there's a few inputs and outputs there. 28 volt DC, comms, if you link it to other panels, remote fire, remote fault. Positive inputs, output, fire fault, monitored input, so it's basically a call point input, but not for a call point. Um, I suppose you treat it with a, with a remote button or something, maybe. Um, zone 1, um, sound of circuits, and the extension boards. If you just if you just have the main board, it's only one zone plus two sound of circuits, because obviously regulations exist. Um, so let's test the call point. This has an LED inside of it, which I've which I've wired up. So let's press it, and it will set this off. And I will turn it off about two seconds in, because I don't want to annoy the neighbours. Um, let's go.
Activate the LED there. Right, it stays in fire and let's reset the call point. The key mechanism is broken, so the key does not actually work. As I will demonstrate here, it just spins around and does nothing. So let's put a lock pick inside of it and use that to reset it. And reset the panel. Go level. I will demonstrate the earth fault by touching the wires to the thing. The earth fault light there will light up. There we go. Um, let me get a bit of wire and short out the precincts, but that's more than one wire, that's about five. But that is, this is the one wire that I want. Um, let's touch that to the negative and touch that to the... Oh yes, you can su so if it's been set off, you can silence it with that, which does not take the moment because it's already silenced. Actually, let's set it off. There we go. Silenced. Reset. There. And the precinct input is to sound the buses for like a school or something. Yeah. Um, that probably didn't do it any good, but yeah. That is, I suppose, it. Nice quick video. If you want me to go any, into, into detail on any certain function or anything else, then let me know in the comments and I shall do that. Um, but for now, um, that is it. If you have any questions about the panel, whether you whether you have the panel or just want to know things about it, then ask and I will try and answer to the best of my ability. Um, and that is it.